morning and a very warm welcome. You are watching Janata Television and this is English Bulletin with me, Yudsa Bhattrai. The top stories first. Hari Bodhani Ekadasi being observed throughout the country today. Devotees worship Lord Vishnu on this day. Border dispute between Nepal and India continues. Stakeholders in Nepal blame India of hegemony. Global Conference on Nutrition concludes Member State Issue Kathmandu Declaration. Trump ordered to pay $2 million compensation. The fine was slapped by New York judge for misusing namesake charity. And Manchester United Parties and Belgrade advances to knockout stage of Europa League. And now the news in detail. Devotees across the country are celebrating Hari Bodhani Ekadasi festival by worshipping Lord Vishnu today. The ritual marriage of Tulsi plant is held today. Devotees flock to the Four Narayan temples in Kathmandu Valley today to offer the worship. Legend has it that Lord Vishnu, after a long battle with a demon named Moor, retreated to the Hemawati cave in the Himalayas to take a rest. While the tired god was resting, a woman emerged from his body and killed the demon. When the demon cried in agony while it fell to the ground, it woke up the mighty god. And that day is celebrated as Hari Bodhani Ekadasi according to Hindu mythology. On this day, every household which has planted Tulsi during the Harishayani Ekadasi four months ago prepared to hold the rituals of marrying the Tulsi plant which is considered a sacred plant. The four months of fasting by devotees while the Lord Vishnu is resting gate completed on this day. Devotees in large number visit Changu Narayan Temple, Bishanku Narayan Temple, Shesh Narayan Temple and Ichangu Narayan Temple in the Kathmandu Valley. Buranil Kanta Temple on the northern outskirts of Kathmandu also draws equally large number of devotees. Other pilgrim sites where this festival is celebrated with the fanfare include Kankai, Koshi's Chhatradham, Devghat, Ruru area, Galeshwar, among others. Hari Bodhani Ekadashi is the last of the big festivals observed in Nepal before the winter. Nepal will now take actions against a despotic India, warned Pushpa Kamal Dahal, chairman of ruling Nepal Communist Party. Speaking to the press at Bokhara yesterday, chairman Dahal said the government will not only limit the statement about the press release but will take actions if required against the new political map published by India that includes Nepali territories as its own. Chairman Dahal assured discussions will be soon held on the diplomatic level about the recent Indian map. Lipu Lake Kura, Baratra Chingo Bitma, Somati Boyo, Vanera Aunda, Somyo Bosma, Barat Vermont Mathe, Teti Bella Manitanka Pradan Mantri, Narendra Modison, you call it by Gosa, Esco Bitarma, Esco Barima, Punar Bitar, Gorinu Porta, Vanegoti, Oil the John Calapani, Subway, Noxa Bitra, Padi Sakepochi, your Nepal Lai, Sayi Unasagdena, Mani Unasagni, Gurune Uina. Chairman Dahal stated he also dissented against the agreement between India and China regarding Lipu Lake when he was on the state visit to India as the Prime Minister of Nepal. Communication Minister Gokul Prasad Baskota has said that the official political map of India, which has included some of Nepal's territory, is unacceptable to the Nepali government. Minister Baskota has also said that these problems have to be solved from the diplomatic standpoint by the government. In the press meet organized in Singadarbar yesterday, Minister Baskota said the Nepali government has rejected the one-sided Indian political map. He further reiterated that the Nepali government has evidence that 2% of the Nepali land has been grabbed by the Indian side. Minister Baskota said Nepal's stance on not allowing anyone to affect the sovereignty of Nepal is still the primary agenda of the government. Kutnitik, Raznitik, Pahala Rudwara, Ramra Itiasik, Tatya, Pramad, Dashi, Ka Adarma, Amele Delai, Tungyaunetho, Ra Tiostu Jun Zari Baigosa, Tis Barema, Amele Amro Asamati, 
Minister Baskota also talked about not allowing any form of terrorist activities to foster within Nepal's dominion. The recent American report talked about the terrorism activities which are on the rise in Nepal and Minister Baskota said any form of terrorism will not be tolerated. Ramro, Adikar ko samman, Amro Amro sarvo ma swadin ta ko rachya garne ko rama ami sadhaze. Amro jo drishti ko rade aye ko sa aile ko sarkar ko soi drishti ko anusar nai ami agadi bande so. Minister Baskota clarified that no one has the right to conduct activities that are against the law. This is Janata Bulletin. We'll be right back after a short break. Welcome back. After the break, we continue with other national news. The recent border disputes between Nepal and India is likely to affect the bilateral relation between the neighbours. India's hegemonic policies and constant intervention on independent states might portray Nepal as a weak state in the international arena. Stakeholders have warned a report. India has certainly said on many instances that India is a good friend to neighbouring Nepal. However, time and again India's actions contradict its words. India has been encroaching Nepali territories and including them as their own ever since they published the country's first political map back in 1952 AD. The historical records clearly serve as an evidence to how the residents of Chagaru, Tinkar and Gunji paid lives from July 1, 1905 to April 2, 1937 to the government of Nepal. The Sugauli Treaty had marked the Kali River as the border between Nepal and India some 204 years ago. The whole map has been altered over the course of time only because Nepal was ignorant in fencing its territory. Nepal has failed to solve the border dispute and reclaim the land of of Kalapani as well as remove the Indian soldiers stationed at the area since 1995. <laughs> The national consensus that was conducted in the East in 1953 AD and in the West Nepal in 1955 AD state at the then Baitari district has six villages namely Gunji, Nawi, Kuti, Tinkar and Chagaru. The village incorporated 434 households and 1016 population. These villages have been claimed by India. Areas of land from Susta in Nawalparasi and Kalapani in the West have disappeared from the map of Nepal. The high-profile visits to India includes border discussions, but that is never executed. Lipule, ya Kalapani, ya Limpia, Dura, Bare ko chahi, jo prashna chha, to Nepal ko rastye hit, Nepal ko bhogolik akal natamak mai kotei kune khel ko compromise huna shogdai na. Sarkar le isla gomir rupma lease agay ko chha. However, Indian side have claimed that they have not encroached Nepali territories and included them in their map. India has instead requested to remain cautious about the vested interest surfacing around to ruin the bilateral relations between Nepal and India. The new map has in no manner revised our boundary with Nepal. The boundary delineation exercise with Nepal is ongoing under the existing mechanism. We reiterate our commitment to find a solution. India has reaffirmed the lands included in the recent political map of India are not in Nepal's map since the last five years. A three-day international conference on the rights of migrant workers will be held in Kathmandu from November 12. Organising a press meet in capital yesterday, the National Human Rights Commission said that representatives from 25 countries will be attending the conference. Altogether, 62 delegates will be arriving for the conference. Discussions will be held in five different topics during the conference. Stakeholders believe that the conference will be helpful in seeking collective effort to tackle the problems faced by migrant workers.
विशेष करी राष्ट्रीय मामलों की कराया ये विगत एक दशक के ही आप्रवासी कामदार लोगों को अधिकार को समर्थन को भी शोना आप लोग केंद्र की तरफ से तो जति आयोग में उन्हें देखो पढ़ने का सं या जति समस्या अरु न्यूज़ मामले का एक बोलना तो सब लोग ये रहा नहीं संबंधित मंत्रालय विशेष तस्वीर और राष्ट्र Vice President Nanda Bahadur Poon is scheduled to inaugurate the conference. And now the news from Economic Front. With three commitments and five implementation plans, the Global Conference on Scaling Up Nutrition concluded yesterday with the signing of Kathmandu Declaration. The Global Conference has committed to spread the message of importance of nutrition for all from cities to villages. A report. The Global Conference on Scaling Up Nutrition saw more than 1,200 participants from 73 different countries as it concluded yesterday after signing the Kathmandu Declaration. The government has committed to implement the Scaling Up Nutrition work plan under various headings. With the motto of improving the nutrition from cities to villages, seven work plans have been formed to support the UN's nutrition project. तो न्यूट्रिशन को स्टेटस दे हमें सब पहले मिले रहो कसरे अलमाकी बढ़ाने सकते हैं कसरे बच्चा हमें स्वस्थ रखने सकते हैं कसरे हमें लेह कर कले सहयोग करे अगर ये बढ़ाने सकते हैं और ये तो भी नया गवर्नेंस व्यवस्था में हमें कसरे ये पूरा रूल नहीं जाने वाले हम रूल डिक्लेरेशन में क्यों पूरा रूल चाहिए in the closing ceremony of the global meet, Health Minister Upendra Yadav talked about the importance of government's commitment on the nutrition project. This is also a part of primary health care program. Ladies and gentlemen, this global gathering has provided an opportunity to share countries' experiences, learn lessons and also set high-level political commitment the global gathering discussed in detail the importance of government commitment on achieving the nutrition goals. The gathering also talked about the commitments to the Tokyo 2020 Summit on Nutrition for Growth. A step-by-step -step plan for orientation of stakeholders from the government and private sectors as well as social institutes was also discussed during the gathering. Time for a short break here at Janata Bulletin. Stay tuned for international news. We are at the end of Jonathan Bulletin and the headlines once again. Hari Bodhani Ekadashi being observed throughout the country today, devotees worship Lord Vishnu. Border dispute between Nepal and India continues. Stakeholders in Nepal blame India of hegemony. Global Conference on Nutrition concludes, Member States issue Kathmandu Declaration. Trump ordered to pay $2 million compensation. The fine was slapped by the New York judge for misusing a namesake charity. And Manchester United, partisan Belgrade advances to the knockout stage of Europa League. And that's all from the English News Desk for today. You can follow Chamada Television and our programs on the various social media platforms, including on our website, janatasamachar.com. Keep watching Chamada Television. Namaste.